it's going to be a rough day. I woke up thinking it was going to be a productive day and I got a bunch of things done like in the first hour or so. Like I pumped, we ate, we got our vitamins done, I showered, it was going really well and then it went really downhill from there <laughs> and he's just been just in the worst of moods, just crying and complaining and wanting to be held all the time. So it's possible that he is in some pain. Either that or he's just feeling sad that my sister Devin is not here anymore because she was here like Tuesday night into all of Wednesday and almost all Thursday. So maybe he's just missing her. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Um, but I can sense that today is going to be a tough day. So I will attempt to vlog it. <laughs> <laughs> you little faker. You're pretending you're happy. Trust me, he has not been. And I tried to get him to take a nap, and I've been trying to like sleep train you. Sleep training has actually been working really well for nighttime, so I was like, I'll try it for a nap. Like, he was really tired looking, so I nursed him. He almost fell asleep, so I put him down. He cried for like half an hour. So I finally went and got him. And that's where we are now. Hmm? Hmm? What's that face? What's that drool? But anyways, I have to just get some laundry and things done, which I'm not going to vlog. We have to go to Hannaford, like, every single day, basically, because I forgot to use most of my WIC checks. And so I used two yesterday, and I want to use, like, one or two today, and a couple tomorrow, and then, like, they go bad on the 12th. So I really need to use a couple a day, so I'm not embarrassed by using eight at one time. Ah! Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, so... Poor people life. And I've just been, like thinking and thinking today about what to, what to do with my hair. Okay, having roots, I don't know if it's a weird, like, I'm going to put them down, a weird um, psychological thing, but whenever I have, like, roots like this, it... Okay, 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 okay. I'm not going to put him down. That's what I mean. I'm not going to put you down. I'm going to hold you forever until you're, like, 16, and then, then maybe you'll let me put you down, but... I was gonna say is that when I'm blonde like this and I have my natural roots and it's just like it makes me feel trashy looking it makes me feel like people think I'm poor which I am but I don't want people to think I'm poor and I don't know I don't even know what that is but it's really bothering me but I want to be blonde but I don't want that and I don't have the money to keep it up like I can't dye my hair every three weeks or something so I'm like what to do what to do like should I just um, stick it out until the summer and then use like some of those natural like they have those things that have like lemon in it like lemon juice and stuff in it and the sun can kind of help your natural hair get lighter I could use that kind of stuff to make my roots lighter or should I just like get a box dye and dye it back to my natural color decisions because I want it to be cheaply done you know like I don't have a lot of money um, but I want to look cute and I don't really feel cute when I have like light light brown hair doesn't make me feel cute, but I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the camera. This is a stupid conversation. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> there you are. You're happy again. Okay, guys, so we are about to leave, but I just wanted to show you that Ronan has a new car seat. It's a convertible one, and I got it for free through, like, WIC and some other program. And we picked it up on Monday, and she fit it to him and everything, and he's going to be able to fit in it for, like, years. And I guess he can face backwards for, like years I think until he's like two or three so he's got a lot of space and he's much happier and hopefully I hope he just like falls asleep to be honest the only thing about this is that if he does fall asleep you can't like pick it up obviously and carry it inside and have him stay asleep you have to just like take him out of it but yesterday I took him out of it and he stayed asleep like that was probably a miracle but <laughs> it did happen so miracles do happen he looks happier already hey. though yeah, you look like you're having a good time already. Um, and he does have a jacket on, but they said it's okay if it's a light jacket, so I never put him in there with, like, a bulky jacket. But let's go. We're gonna also have to go to the bank. <laughs> He's having a great time, of course, per usual. Yeah, and we picked up a bunch of good stuff so far. Um, Lynn snapped me the other day. She was giving Liv sweet peas for, like, you know, finger food. So I'm going to try that. I don't know if he'll like it because it's vegetable, but might as well try. I got some cauliflower because I want to make like a mashed potatoes kind of out of cauliflower. 
Um, I also got some actual potatoes for a different night. I got some carrots and some scallions to go with like these tuna patties that I make which are super healthy. And then I got some apples for myself, some avocado for the salad tonight, some bagels because we're out of them, and some of these because I take them to work usually. And I just heard you undo your buckle. You're supposed to be buckled in here. This will not do. We just got home. Wow, like springtime is kind of depressing because everything's melting and everything just looks dead and ugly. So it looks pretty gross in the front of our house. But my baby is so cute. Look, he fell asleep on the way home. I can't like, oh, there you go. There's a shadow. So peaceful. So I'm just going to grab the groceries from in here. Ugh. And then I will come and sit in the car, I guess, while he's sleeping. We're back inside. Ronan just had a whole pouch of puree. And I just gave him like six pieces of banana. He's actually just shoving them all in his mouth and eating them. Usually he just swats them off the table. And I thought that's what he was going to do. But I guess he must be hungry. Do you want more? Good job. Yum, yum. Bananas really taste the best when they're like this. Like, all brown on the outside, but literally... They're not even bruised, it's like perfect. Because when they're kind of green, they just hurt my stomach, first of all. And they don't taste as good. I want them soft. Very tired, so sleepy. I was very emotional yesterday um, because one, Ronan was taking a bath and I kept on looking at him and just being like still so amazed that I created him in my body. Like, it still blows my mind, so I cried. And then I was also watching the You Now of Carly, um, I can't remember her last name. Carly. Whatever. But she was talking about how her son almost died because he swallowed a penny. And then I was kind of freaking out about that. And I felt very emotional and almost cried again. But Ronan is crawling around playing with random duct tape and stuff like that. This is a TD bank soft baseball that they gave him. The ladies at the bank were like crazy about him, obviously. They thought you were just the cutest. He's, oh, he's not even interested in the baseball anymore. There you go. Talking up a storm. And he's in his pajamas still. Because he was in such a bad mood earlier that I was like, I'm not changing him. Like, are you kidding me? No. It's hard enough on a good day. So yeah, we're gonna boil some sap down to maple syrup to make the house warm because I'm freezing right now. And Stu's getting more over there. And I should probably clean up and work on laundry and doing exercising. So not much is really happening. <laughs> My finger feels like it's gonna break. Ronan has quite obviously found a toilet paper roll. I was feeling really crummy. I think it's the birth control, honestly, because the only thing I've been taking that's different than normal is the birth control and the probiotics, and I felt nauseous the past couple of days. Um, and like I have to burp all the time. I don't know, that's really weird, but I just feel like I'll like hit my chest and be burping like 24-7. It's weird because I take it at like 8 in the morning, but it's later in the day when I start feeling gross, like 3 p.m. to like 6 or 7 at night, I feel like just horrible. So I had a headache, I felt really gross, I was like laying on the couch and trying to entertain Ronan and then Stu and Mom were getting ready because they're going on a date because their goals like, oh I want attention. He's standing beneath me, quivering, quivering with sadness. What is up baby? I'm just working on dinner and stuff. I'm boiling sap as I said and then I'm boiling some other water because I'm gonna put cauliflower in here there's like a clove of garlic in the oven a whole clove drenched in oil so we can bake that 
and it's gonna go with this and with some chives and hopefully it turns into something delicious garlic mashed cauliflower I don't know. It just seemed like a healthier option. I don't know if you can tell, but yes, I'm in a onesie. Ronan is in his pajamas. It's like we get crazy wild in the Smith house when mom and Stu go on a date. Honestly though, I hope that when I'm their age that I'm still being romantic and going on dates to the movies and like, they're so cute. They wake up, even if my mom wakes up at 7 in the morning to go to work and Stu doesn't even work that day, they will wake up together at like 5 or 6 or something and make tea together and have their breakfast and then like take a shower together and oh, to be older and still romantical. It's nice. Come here, do you want a treat? Cracker? I literally spend all day just pointing at things. Cracker. Or I'll go over to here and hold him near the calendar and be like, boat, water, tree. Like, that's my life now. Ow, no. No. Let go of my hair. It's not nice. No. No. That's not good. <laughs> You're going to stay there for a few minutes. That's not nice. There we go. He has calmed down, which is good, but I don't want him to learn, you know, slapping and hair pulling, so lately I have been doing that. I'll put him in his pack and play if he's being bad, because if I put him on the ground, like my doctor suggested, like, he doesn't care. He likes that, so it doesn't really even seem like discipline. But he doesn't like being in his pack and play for some reason alone most of the time. Once in a while, he'll be like, yay, and play with his toys, but for the most part, he'll cry. So he cried, and we stopped crying after a few minutes, he got to come back out. Boo. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> okay, all I was really going to say before I put the camera down um, is that I watched ASMR when my head was hurting and it was wonderful because I haven't been watching it lately and so it was extra relaxing. So I might do that tonight before bed because I've been watching Bates Motel season two before I go to sleep and like I'll go to watch one episode and end up watching like three or four because it's addicting. And then my heart is racing even after it's like off and like that's all I can think about and I'm like kind of scared because it's dark out. So yeah, probably not the best idea, but gentle whispering. We'll see. Sometimes I make bad decisions. I might watch Base Motel. What should I do? What should I do? Tell me if you've seen that show because it's really good. Yay! So I finally made it. Ronan has been eating some puree. Um, I made my garlic mashed cauliflower with chives and it's really good. I added a little bit of plain Greek yogurt, just kind of like sour cream, you know? And then I've got my salad with cranberries and um, pine nuts and avocado and stuff. And did I already say sausage? It's barbecue sausage. So that's the whole bowl over here, which I'll put in the fridge. But I'm just gonna finish feeding him and feed myself and he's gonna have some toast and stuff. Um, fill him right up before bedtime. Look at that little puss. Look at that puss. He's like, Mom, don't touch my face. Can I touch your hair? It's oh, no? Okay. <laughs> he's like, he's tired, so he's out of it. Okay, one bite on camera, and then next shot will be probably bedtime. Just kidding. I'm going to give Ronan a little bit of it. See if you like it. I'm not sure. Let's see. If he doesn't like it, then he won't go for a second bite. Oh, you do like it. You opened your mouth. <laughs> wow. It's kind of messy. There you go. You want some more? It's a success. And I know what's in it, because I made it. How about that? How about that? That girl is so stupid. I'm so, like, angry that people make people like her famous. Cat? Cat? No, it's his cauliflower. <laughs> you want me to get it? <laughs> There's a puff for you. Can you share with me? Ah. No. Ah. Can I have it though? I don't let go. I'm for you. Good job. This one is for me. See? Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sharing. Good job. Oh. oh, oh. 
You're psyching me out. <laughs> you playing games. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was so funny. Now it's my turn. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you have to let it go. <laughs> you have to let it go. You don't like to share? <laughs> Gonna feed the dog? No, I don't want it after that. No way, Jose. Everyone's gonna be like, she's a bad mom. She lets the dog lick his food. He is okay, guys. Like, okay. He has not been sick since I gave birth to him. He had a runny nose for a week and that's it. And he's been like probably eating up cat hair and who knows what. So don't worry about it. My best friend is in Curaco and these are the waves over there, which are freaking beautiful. So she wanted me to show Ronan. What do you think? He's like, whoa. Yeah, I'm really jealous that she's there. She was supposed to go to Trinidad and Tobago because it's where like, her birth mom is from, but I guess not safe. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's so sad. You can hold my phone for like a minute. And then we're gonna put you to sleep. We are upstairs, which is why the lighting is probably weird. This is what Ronan does every morning while I'm laying right there. He climbs up. And usually he shakes the headboard and laughs and climbs on top of me and bites my face. Um, but yeah, I need to get a new dipe on you, baby boy. Just dipe is full of pee pee. And some new pajamas, because he wore those all day. And then I'm going to watch TV as I try to rock him to sleep. Do you want to say goodnight? That's close enough. <laughs> Bye, guys.